Division. Attention. Good afternoon, Division. Good afternoon, Lord Park. Where are the turtles? Come on, guys, get out of here. Where are the turtles? Where are they? Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I just got my hands on some never before seen boot camp Navy chow hall footage. What you go through when you go eat chow, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Navy boot camp RTC secret footage. Drop a like, drop a subscribe for the unseen footy. Hey, I also just want to thank you guys so much for all the support. We just hit 139,000 subscribers. We're only a couple hundred away from 140K. Getting ever close to that 150K. Insane. Appreciate it. Let's just hop right into this video. Like I said, Navy chow hall footage, never before seen. Let's get it. And we will not be leaving the premises until we obtain them. Hand over the turtles now. Six, seven, eight, four, Division, attention! Good afternoon, Division! Good afternoon, Lord Park! Today, we'll be dining at table six, seven, and eight. Starting on the fourth side of table six. Utilizing both chow lines. Two road guards to the doors. Two road guards to the door. All right, let me stop it right here. Dude, what? This is awesome. I'm pretty sure none of you guys have seen this stuff. Um, as you can see, you have the RPOC the one that was talking, he lets the division know where they're gonna eat, at what tables. Everyone is lined up against the starboard side of the P-way because that's how you traverse not only a boot camp but on a Navy ship, you're always on the right starboard side. Um, also, they're in a height line. <laughs> now, I'm six foot four. I'm six four, so I was always in the very back of the height line. So I always got to eat last. Thankfully, there were times when they let the tall guys start in the front and all the short people were in the back. It was like a reverse height line. But as you can see, um, I'm pretty sure some of the other people in the front are in the leadership position. You have the RPOC, I'm sure maybe that guy's the MA. You might have the Yeoman and the AROC. And then everyone else is in the height line. And, uh, and yeah, I always had to eat super fast, dude, unfortunately. Get the road guards. Road guards walk it up, dude. Huh, hold that door, bud. Nice, I got backpacks. No more canteen belts. Where's the canteens? Where's the belts, dude? You got backpacks now. Come on. Fall up. Nice. Look at them falling out. Look at them falling out, Papa. They're doing a great job. Dude, this is it. Hold up, hold up. Okay, so I re vividly remember when you're in P days, when you're in your Smurfs, in your Navy sweatsuit, in your sweats, the first couple of days of boot camp, and you walk into the galley, <laughs> it's like, dude, you see everyone in their type threes, in their camo, and you're in your like little blue sweatsuit with your go fasts, your running shoes on, and you're just like, oh my God, dude, I wanna be wearing that. I wanna be where they are in training. And then everyone in their uniforms, they're looking at us in our sweatsuits like, psh, psh, P-Day kids, bro. P-Day kids. Dude, I, I'll just remember, I'm like, wow, I wanna be like, I wanna be in those uniforms, dude. Get me out of these. Oh, shit, dude. Wow. Dude, nostalgia. Okay, here we go. Another thing, you see the hand sanitizer? I was gonna make a comment about this because you'll notice everyone's walking with a little book. There, you can see everyone's holding like a little book like this. That's their recruit train, it's their recruit um, guide. It has everything that you need to learn in boot camp in it. And you take it with you everywhere. Like you take it with you to the freaking head, to chow, and everywhere you go, you have that recruit training guide with you and it's it's filthy it's filthy you take it when you poop it's got poop on it it's got who knows what on it and then you take it when you're eating but they do have you sanitize your hands but after you sanitize your hands you probably touch that book and then you're eating your food but i did notice you have to hold it in your armpit so i was like okay that's smart dude they're trying to they, they don't want to spread 
They try to contain the spread of sickness and you can spread it really easily over food. If you guys have been on a Navy deployment, you'll notice that if there's the double dragon going around the ship, they, they quarantine the galley. Like everyone, all the food in the galley is like all quarantined. They're all wearing all these special clothes and shit. So they really try to be careful with foodborne illness and with uh, spreading germs and stuff. So you'll see them carrying their book in their armpit after they clean their hands. Right, right here. In the pit. The, the food is actually pretty good. N notice too that everyone is, you can't really talk. Besides to the, when you're getting your food, you always have to keep your eyes and your, your head down, only eating your food. Yo, don't look at the camera. Bro, what are you, you're gonna get chewed out, man. Don't you look at the camera. Don't you look at the camera, man. What are you doing? Eyes down. Military bearing, bro. Where's your military bearing? But yeah, this is it. Look at that. I'm gonna stop it right here. You can kind of see, uh, you know, all the, all this, this is multiple divisions that they have in here. Uh, multiple divisions that at the beginning of the video the RPOC was telling everyone where they're gonna be eating at what tables and you all have to file in and file out so if you're that's why if you're shorter you get there quick you get there before everyone and you get to start eating you know before people and you don't have to eat as fast kind of take your time now like me I'm normally like I said had to shovel the food down because I was in the very back of the height line and I got my food last but uh, wow th yeah this is it you guys can kind of see. This is awesome footage, dude. This is great. It's almost over. Some people are looking up at the camera, dude. Unacceptable. All right, that's it. But uh, once once you're done eating, if you finish eating quick, then you have to go straight to reading your your book. You got to go straight to studying your recruit training guide. You can't like bullshit. You can't talk. A lot of people get in trouble in the galley for talking, for losing their military bearing, for bullshitting, um, and don't steal any extra desserts. I shit you not. There was a couple guys that got caught stealing extra cookies and sweets, and they had them empty. We had the, our, our, our RDCs, recruit division commanders, had everyone empty their pockets when we got back to the compartment, and like this one, these couple of these guys had like sweets and like cookies and stuff, and they got beat for a hot minute. They got beat a lot, dude. Oh man, that was hilarious. Don't be doing that. Yo, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, drop a subscribe for more. On the road to 100 big thousand subscribers, all my social medias are in the, in the description below. Also, if you wanna become a Patreon supporter, shout out to our newest Patreon pledge, Lee. Thank you so much, Lee, for becoming a Patreon member. That is in the description as well. I'll see you guys very soon. Brand new videos almost every day. The Moto Vlogs are going to be back soon. The snow is finally melting. It's 50 degrees here in beautiful eastern Washington for the first time in months. The snow is gone. It's melting away. The Moto Vlogs are back. Hey, bay, bay. That's my song. Turn it up. Gangsters in the club. Hey, pop, pop. Hey, pop, pop. Hey, pop, pop. Hey, pop, pop. Papa's in the club. Hey, pop, pop. Papa's in the club. Hey, pop, pop. Girl, my sweet girl. Oh, you want to? Why are you looking right there? You like to lick the salt? You a salty boy? Hi, Grace. Grace over here too. She wants some love and too. Okay, hi. Okay, it's a booty. Look at the flu. Look at the flu. Mm -hmm.